Hi, Beth Riebenstorf with the Reby Homes team with September's 2020 real estate market update. Let's start off with a look at showing traffic from across North America, and these are showings both in person and virtual. So January and February began very strong, and we can see it dipped during the quarantine time when people literally couldn't leave their homes. And then demand continued, and we see a big jump between May and August, which represents our pent up demand. This next piece of information shows purchase applications week over week. How many were there this week as compared to last week? And there's a similar pattern. The beginning of March is the first green bar on the left and then the four consecutive weeks we see a dip, followed by an increase due to all that pent up demand as folks that couldn't get out during quarantine emerged and started looking at their options for buying homes. As we look at the year-over-year -year view of purchase applications, it shows the strong start at the beginning of the year, then the dip when people couldn't get out of their homes. And since about the middle of May, purchase applications compared to the same time last year, well, they have increased. 2020 purchase applications are well ahead of the 2019 volume. Interest rates around the 3% range and so many folks reassessing their home needs are significant contributors to the increase that we're seeing in purchase applications. Looking at newly pended deals, which are listings that went under contract, we see a strong March followed by the quarantine dip. And then during the summer, folks coming out, not just looking, but very quickly writing contracts. On the heels of that summer surge, for the last five or six weeks, it looks like we've attained a leveling out. An interesting view when we look at year over year for pending sales, they're up 16.5%. You can see week by week for the last several weeks, pending sales are far ahead from the same time last year. Most recently, in most of those weeks, I had 15 or 16%. This is further highlighted by home buyer traffic, which according to showing time, jumped again in July, recording a 60.7% year over year increase nationwide. That is a huge jump. Each region of the country had significant increases with the Northeast leading the way at 76.6%. And that brings us to a view of our local numbers. In the Phoenix metro area, the number of listings under contract are significantly higher than either 2018 or 2019. This same time in 2018, under contract listings were 8856 and in 2019 they were 10143. Currently, in 2020, there are 12,663 under contract listings. Active listings are well below previous years, almost half compared to 2018, which had 15,124 homes to choose from in mid-September. In 2019, there were 12,569 homes available. And in 2020, there were only 7,777. So what happens when there's high demand, great interest rates, and low supplies? Well, you've probably heard about the multiple offers and bidding wars. So let's take a look at appreciation over the past year. For homes under $300,000, this same time, mid-September 2019, that average price per square foot was $144.23. This year, 2020, the average price per square foot mid-September was $162.16. That's a $17.93 per square foot increase in one year, which is a 12.4% gain. In the $300,000 to $600,000 price range, it was $169.68 in 2019, and 2020 saw it increase to $185.21. That's a one-year increase of 9.2%, or $15.53 per square foot. And the smallest increase came in the $600,000 to $1 million price range. This time last year, the price per square foot was at $226.10, compared with this year's $230.34 for an increase of 2% or $4.24 per square foot. And for homes priced over $1 million, last year's price per square foot was $314.27 and increased to $329.81 this year for an increase of 4.7% or $15.54 per square foot. 
So what about the predictions and projections? Well, there were some significant and noteworthy adjustments or changes on predictions. Fannie Mae went from projecting appreciation of 0.4% to 4.4%. Zillow flipped from depreciation to appreciation. And CoreLogic had the biggest adjustment from a negative 6.6 depreciation to a positive 0.6 appreciation. Eight out of nine projections have the housing sector appreciating in the next 12 months. Well, that's the quick update for real estate activity in the August slash September 2020 timeframe. We'll see what the end of September and the beginning of October brings. If you're curious about your equity position, and most of us are, or if you or someone you know are wondering if now might be a good time to make a change, just give us a call. We'll share the data and analysis for your area and your property so you have current and accurate information to make an informed assessment. Beth Riebensdorf with the Reby Homes team bringing you real estate beyond expectations.